Jake Paul defeated an Eason Gibb in two minutes. <laughs> yes, that hurt a lot more saying it than it probably did watching it. Uh, the fight was a bit disappointing. I, I stayed up until 5am to watch a two minute fight, but it's all good. I went to support, I say when, I, w I stayed up to support um, an Eason Gibb. I feel like everyone wanted to see him in a canvas, the whole of the UK. I think a lot of the US and obviously a lot of the world as well. Um, which is ironic because Jake Ball has like so many more followers than the Eason Gibb, it's actually unreal. Um, but yeah, um, the fight, like I said, was a bit disappointing. The, the other fights, I feel like the most entertaining fight for me was probably the Tevin Farmer fight with uh, Jojo Diaz. So congrats to Jojo Diaz. I think he's, you know, to say that someone's been, you know, that guy's been going through like, a lot of like mental health sort of issues, it's, it's nice to see him finally win a world championship after three attempts in a row, I think it is. Uh, he fought absolutely amazingly. Uh, but moving on to the fight that you probably clicked uh, this video for, I say probably, it's why you clicked the video for. Um, yeah, the fight was entertaining. Gib um, kind of did, like, I, I want to make a joke and just say he was doing his Mr. Krabs impression, but to be honest, it, it doesn't even cheer me up, to be honest. Um, yeah, he, he crouched a lot, and I feel like it was, the whole idea was to just sort of help get on the inside, I don't know. But when you're crouching like that, it does make it really hard to keep your balance. And I feel like Gib probably overdid it. And Jake Paul just that stiff jab. I don't know. It just it just seemed to shake Jake Paul. Uh, Gib, sorry. And he he got I think it was three three flash knockdowns. I think it was or at least two. And then um, yeah, that that's all she wrote. A lot of people complaining on Twitter that they didn't look like knockdowns, but I guess the rule of boxing is if, you, if your glove touches the floor, it's considered a knockdown. Um, and it's three knockdowns in the first round. I think professionally, referees don't really allow your opponent to um, take more than that. I, I guess in the Joshua Reese fight, I think it was like two knockdowns in a way. I don't know. Um, but three knockdowns in two minutes, it's, it's not looking good at that point. I think the second knockdown looked the most brutal, the way he just went onto the rope, so that that definitely hurt. I, to be fair, I honestly felt like after the first knockdown, Gib Loki, like he did look gone. I'm not, he did. You can see it in his eyes. He, like, I feel like the whole idea was he was just going to go and put Jake on the, you know, the canvas. Of, he was going to be the first one to do it, if that makes sense, in the fight. And when Jake Paul was obviously got a, scored a knockdown, and I think that's obviously put a little bit of a shock into the system. I don't think the punches necessarily hurt. They didn't look like... I, I feel like I could take those sort of punches. Um, the stiff jab was incredible, though, to be fair to Jake. Him and Logan, obviously. Um, I feel like in all of their fights, they've had the reach advantage. Obviously, Logan against KSI twice had the reach advantage. Jake Paul versus Deji obviously had the reach advantage. And obviously, Jake Paul versus Gibb, reach advantage. I feel like they obviously used the jab. And I feel like the one time Jake Paul's going to struggle is against someone taller than him which is obviously KSI, and I'll get onto that in just a moment. Um, yeah, like I said, Jack Gibb lost his balance. I feel like the nerves got to him, especially after the first knockdown in like a couple of seconds. Um, his punches just didn't look like they did any damage. Um, he wasn't good enough. Like, we're not just going to do a typical American thing to say, you know, he was sick, he should have won the fight. He, he, he got battered, in, in that sense. He didn't necessarily get battered, but... If we're talking about, did he do anything in the fight? He did fuck all. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I think he still managed to make Jake Paul's nosebleed, though, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, it's it kind of makes you feel like Deji did well uh, against Jake, and, and he did, considering he had no training camp, and he did put on Twitter like, "Oh, can I rematch uh, Jake Paul?" And everyone's just a bit like, "Well, just leave it to KSI," which I'm going to get onto now. So obviously, after the fight. Um, someone was just asking him questions, basically leading up to him saying he wants KSI next. Obviously, that's just another massive payday for them, isn't it? Um, obviously, KSI was in the ring at that point. He's a good friend of Gib. Um, and he said KSI was next. KSI got in his face. And Jake Paul said the fight was going to be on his terms because he's the A-side, which is just ridiculous. Like, literally, KSI's second channel with less than half of your main channel subscribers gets more views than you. And you're trying to claim to be the A side. I feel like he was just saying it just, just. Uh, I don't. I feel like this could get like get off at people hating him. I don't know, but at the end of the day, like Logan Paul tried this before, and just trying to get into KSI's head, and well, look what happened. And Jake is a worse fighter than Logan. I feel like Logan honestly could have KO'd Gib one. I'm mean, of course he would have. Let's be honest, but like. Nah, but Logan Paul was such a better boxer than Jake. Everyone knows that. And, and KSI was able to beat um, 
what is it, Logan Paul with Shannon Briggs training him. Um, obviously, to be fair, Jake's got a sick coach in Sugar Shane Mosley. I, that guy's a, that guy's an icon. Um, so he has learned, I guess, a bit training obviously in Big Bear and stuff like that. But I don't know. Gib looked like he trained hard. So if look, if KSI puts the same effort in, and obviously he doesn't crouch everywhere, I don't know. I feel like Jake could be could be uh, in trouble. I feel like that that fight would still go on points. I still don't feel like anyone's going to get knocked out in this whole YouTube boxing thing. Um, but yeah, a lot of people in the UK say the uh, fight was rigged. It it wasn't. It wasn't rigged at all. Uh, plus, it's kind of annoying when people do that because obviously we criticise Logan and Jake for saying it's rigged. I mean, it it it's not. But obviously, I guess it would be funny to see what Jake Paul says after everyone claims it's uh, rigged um, and be like, oh, you guys are dumb, even though he literally did the same thing against Logan. So I guess it's funny in that regard. Um, yeah, the fight, it wasn't entertaining. If, if I knew it was going to end like that, I probably wouldn't have stayed up to watch it, despite me wanting to support Gibby. It. It's, it's just a waste of time at this point. Like I'm tired. My day's ruined, necessarily, because um, I'm tired and I haven't had much sleep, so... It is what it is. Um, anyways, I don't really know what, what, what else to say, to be honest. Apart from, I guess, I want to talk about uh, Logan Paul and KSI in the interviews before. The interviewer was literally just begging KSI and Logan to fight. Um, Logan finally won something. He won the boxing, like the punch machine challenge, which was uh, funny, I, I guess. His reaction was quite funny, to be fair. But yeah, no, it was actually nice to see um, Logan Paul and KSI just chilling obviously all the side men have been saying like all of this if all of this beef never happened like you guys would be good friends if i'm being honest they they, they genuinely did it like they they you know they would have a good friendship the way where they just they were just calm and relaxed and they both were able to put their egos aside and stuff like that so it is what it is um logan paul obviously said that if the fight happened again he'd win which i mean that's just a matter of opinion at this point um, but he's had two chances at this point he doesn't need a third he drew one and lost one like it's not even close um, but yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, obviously, if you are new. And yeah, I just want to say to my audience, uh, or anyone new that might be interested in watching my content again, I'm planning on dropping a new montage soon. I've been dropping a lot, and I, I might make a video on why I've been dropping a lot. It's not really a reason to be honest. I guess there is. Um, but yeah, that, that's, obviously, that's a video for another day. Thanks so much for watching this video. I know I said I wasn't going to make videos under 10 minutes just because my videos seem to do shit when I do that. But at the end of the day, like, I, I kind of just changed my opinion on that. I'm just going to make videos at this point because I haven't been uploading daily and I feel like I should just not be as picky. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and see ya.